This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I load alphas into Spotlight, then create a Spotlight ZSL file? So to start off, I just have ZBrush launched, and I just have the demo head project here loaded in. Now the question is asking about first taking an alpha and loading it into Spotlight, and then after it is in Spotlight, creating a Spotlight preset or ZSL file. So first let's cover how you can import a alpha into Spotlight. So I'm gonna first navigate up here to the alpha palette and open this up, and now we need to select an alpha. So we have the options in this alpha palette to import in a 16-bit grayscale image. We can also come across this area here and click and get a list of the default alphas that ship with ZBrush. And we can come over and select one of these. We can also, in the alpha palette, use this from mesh option here, which will take the 3D model that we currently have on our canvas and turn that into an alpha. So if I have the demo head here and click from mesh, it's going to open up the transform alpha 3D window here. I can set my map size down at the bottom and then click OK. And that will now transfer the data from that model to an alpha. So after we have an alpha selected, we now just need to come and use this add to spotlight button. So we can import in that alpha, we can select a default alpha, or even generate an alpha from our 3D model, and then use the Add to Spotlight button here to transfer that alpha to Spotlight. Now after you click this button, you'll see the Spotlight wheel is going to open up, and that alpha should be loaded in. Now I can keep adding more alphas to Spotlight by coming back to that alpha palette, selecting a new alpha, and then clicking the Add to Spotlight button again. And then I can just keep doing this by selecting an alpha and then clicking Add to Spotlight to load in as many alphas as I want. Now after these alphas are loaded in, we can organize these by clicking these tile options here. So we can tile unified, tile selected, or tile proportional. And this will allow you to tile the alphas you have loaded in. After you have these alphas in Spotlight, now if you want to create a Spotlight preset or Spotlight ZSL file, we now just need to come up to the texture palette here and then click the Save Spotlight button here, and this will open up a save dialog and allow us to save that out as a ZSL file. So the next time you launch ZBrush, if you want to load the Spotlight file in, instead of going to the Alpha palette and selecting the alphas and adding them to Spotlight, you can simply come over to this texture palette here, use this Load Spotlight option here, select that ZSL file that you saved out, and then that will load in those alphas. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!